Hello grade 7 students, in this video we are going to talk about our lesson classification of matter. As we said in class, everything around us is classified as matter. Matter is divided into two main categories according either to their state or according to their components. According to their state, they are classified as solids liquids and gases and also we have a special one which is called the plasma we will talk about it and according to their components as mixture or pure substances where the mixtures we have two types either homogeneous or heterogeneous let's start first with the solids solids they have definite shape and definite volume Example about this, table, box, chair, board, marker, pen, etc. Liquids, they have indefinite shape. Why? Because they take the shape of the container, they are placed inside it, and they have definite volume. Their volume doesn't change. Example about this, water, oil, juice, alcohol, etc. Third state of matter we're going to talk about gases. Gas they have indefinite shape and also they have indefinite volume. They fill all the space available for them. Example about these gases, oxygen gas, carbon dioxide, nitrogen gas, all of these they are example about the gas indefinite shape and indefinite volume you have to note that powdered solid they are a special example about solids but these solids they have definite volume but they have indefinite shape why because they take the shape of the container for example if you use salt or sugar we place it in a definite container, they take the shape of the container. So powder solids, they are a special case or a unique case of solids. They have definite volume like solids, but they have an definite shape. The fourth state of matter is called the plasma, as we said before. This plasma does not exist on Earth. It's mainly found in stars. Let's now talk about the mixtures and the pure substances. What well, the meaning of pure substance? As we said, pure substance is made of only one kind of material. It's composed of only one kind. Example about this, iron, copper, oxygen, all of them, they are composed of only one kind of material. However, the mixture, it's made up of two or more so two or more pure substances for example oil and water is composed of oil and water two components or two pure substances however pizza maybe it's contained ketchup for example it contains vegetables it contains sauce or others so all of them they form what's known by a mixture Let's now talk about the physical properties. The physical properties, they are divided into two groups. The first group, they can be descriptive. Well, the meaning of descriptive, they describe something like the odor or the smell, the taste, and they can be measurable. What well, the meaning of the measurable? Measurable, we can measure them using specific instruments. For example, the temperature, we can measure it using the thermometer okay so here measurable like for example density or specific gravity for example the melting and the freezing point all of them they are called measurable properties however those that we can't measure they are described or they are classified as descriptive mixtures are divided into two groups homogeneous mixture and a heterogeneous mixture. What's the difference between these two? Homogeneous mixture. They are forming only one 
phase they have only one appearance for example salty water salty water if we mix salt and water and we stir them they will appear as only one phase so these are classified as homogeneous mixture also mixing water plus alcohol it will form only one phase so they are classified as homogeneous mixture however heterogeneous mixture they form two or more phases example about this oil and water so oil and water they are called immiscible liquids well the meaning of immiscible liquids they do not mix so these two they are classified as a heterogeneous mixture because they don't mix they will form two phases and they are separated according to the density however fruit salad or vegetable salad they form heterogeneous mixture why because they have more than one phase they have two or more phases so here we classify the mixtures according either to homogeneous mixture or to heterogeneous mixture thank you bye bye